In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to check the air pressure on your car's tire. All you need is a simple air gauge. You can buy this at a convenience store or gas station for just a few dollars. Before we check the air pressure on the tire, there's two things we need to look at. We need to look at what the tire's maximum capacity is for PSI and what the manufacturer's recommendation is for this car. So here it says the maximum pressure for this tire is 44 PSI. So that means we can inflate up to 44 PSI and it shouldn't affect the structural integrity of the tire, but we're actually not gonna inflate the tire that much. Instead, we're gonna look here on the driver's door on the inside, there should be a sticker in your car. And this is what's called the operating pressure. That's the recommendation from the manufacturer of this car. So for the front two tires, they both should be 33 PSI and the rear two tires should be 35 PSI. So to use this air pressure gauge, we're simply going to put it over the valve right here and push it. And you can see here, it pops out the number. So you can see we're at about 32 PSI. And if you're not confident what the PSI is, you can just push this in and do it again. Okay, so it looks like we're at 32 PSI with this tire. We need to add about three PSI to be at the recommended inflation of these tires. It's very important that you inflate your tires to where they're recommended, because if you have your tire pressure out of whack, it can make the steering a lot less safe. So the easiest way to inflate your tires is to use an air compressor. We just put the tube up and you just put it over the valve and it inflates it super quickly. But let's say your car breaks down in the middle of nowhere, you probably won't have an air compressor. So I'd recommend storing a bike pump in your car because bike pumps work great just like they would a bicycle tire. You can just pop it on, lock it, and then pump it. And it takes a little bit of muscle, a little bit of weight to do it, but you can totally inflate a car tire using just a bike pump. If you overinflate your tire, you can use the little metal knob on the back of your gauge and let out air pressure by simply pressing the pin in your valve here. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If it was helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you next time.